Strategic Planning to Expand Globally. This PowerPoint addresses the planning awareness step in formulating goals to successfully expand globally. Strategies addressed in this PowerPoint analyze the external environment. Slide 10 analyzes the internal environment. Slide 13 identifies strategic opportunities and threats. Future steps in strategic planning include perform gap analysis, develop alternative strategies, implement strategies domestically and internationally, and measure through implementing assessment of cultural competence and on-site assessments. Strategies include cultural preparation, learn local communication complexities, interactions with host nations, creative and experimental approaches, cultural sensitivities, recognition of complexities in other cultures, understanding oneself as a cultural barrier, patience, understanding and accepting realistic expectations, and accepting the challenge of interculture experiences. The Oxford Dictionary defines culture shock as the feeling of disorientation experienced by someone who is suddenly subject to unfamiliar culture, way of life, or set of attitudes. Such shock can be avoided through preparation. Two strategies taken will be an individualized approach through a cultural coach and through mandatory trainings. RW3 Culture Wizard will facilitate culture awareness trainings and efforts of successfully transitioning globally. PACOM has invited a cultural coach to join the team. This expert will support through mentoring. The insight provided will provide guidance, encouragement, and help in mastering the complexities of new cultures. Complexities in communication are more than just translating one language to another in hopes of comprehending the message. Facial expressions, body movement, posture, gestures, eye contact, touch, space, tone, and voice all carry messages. Each aspect of communication varies culture to culture. Understanding communication complexities supports successful deliverance and receiving of information. This is a valuable skill for international business. Building trust and credibility is vital for successful business relationships. Diversities in personalities and culture create the way people form relationships. Building business relationships takes time. This is not something that will just magically happen overnight. Authenticity, humility, respect, healthy boundaries, and active listening go a long way when building relationships in the business world. Willingness to continue negotiating will increase as relationships strengthen. Healthy business relationships are like bank accounts. Deposits must be made before withdrawals are taken. <laughs> From a global market perspective, being creative 
and experimental is a strategy that will position the company as a high performer with well thought out risks taken, ways around bureaucracies are made, communication barriers are dodged, and minds are open to opportunities presented. Innovativeness will thrive. Many experts define cultural sensitivity as the willingness to acknowledge culture differences without making value judgments about these differences. Peterson, 2019. Not every vendor, employee, or customer shares the same culture. A sensitive approach will ensure unbiased cultural relevance. Companies have failed internationally from lack of cultural understanding. For example, in Spain, Coors communication was lost in translation. Advertising the message, suffer from diarrhea. China's Home Depot location in the suburbs, reflecting the American model, flopped because inner city apartments are culturally where home renovation investments are made in China. Also, Starbucks lack of incorporating Australians bold, rich cafe flavors into the menu when debuting in the country resulted in unsatisfied customers. Deep cultural research is needed and planning process of expansion for success. The world is viewed through the unique cultural lens of the beholder. This can create unconscious bias and warped sense of realities. Being self-aware, understanding oneself as a cultural barrier is vital skill for high performance in the global marketplace. For example, talking slowly may be culturally accepted and needed in the preschool classroom, but rapid paced business world may need a faster talker. Being aware of this barrier is needed in the global marketplace so that equipped team members step up to perform in areas of strength. In unfamiliar environment, one must be more tolerant and flexible. An attitude of healthy curiosity and willingness to bear inconveniences and patience when answering or solutions are not forthcoming or difficult to obtain are valuable ways to maintain mental balance. Such patience may also extend to other compatriots who struggle with cultural adjustment. Abramson and Moran, 2018. Be realistic in expectations. Disappointments are lessened when scaling back expectations. Avoid overestimating. Avoid assuming, don't overpromise, set flexible deadlines, acclimate to new cultures before setting expectations. Altering habits, attitude, values, relationship, and source of satisfaction is a challenge. Such Flexibility is needed for high performer in the global marketplace. A personal growth mindset is needed to tackle international experience challenges. Strategic opportunities include personal growth. Threats include cultural conflicts. With this concluded awareness, the goal can be accomplished to successfully expand globally. The strategies, be culturally prepared, learn local communication complexities, 
interact with host nations, be creative and experimental, be culturally sensitive, recognize complexities in other cultures, understand oneself as a cultural barrier, be patient, understanding, and accepting. Be realistic in expectations and accept the challenges of intercultural experiences. Support high performance in the global marketplace. Comparisons of actual performance with these strategies with desire performance will be analyzed. Development of alternative strategies are quarterly upon review. All will implement strategies domestically and internationally. Measurement is processed through implementing assessment of intercultural competence and on-site assessments. Okay. To successfully transition into the global marketplace, a deep understanding of culture differences is needed. The global leader of the 21st century must be aware and teach others of such diversities. Strategic planning to expand globally involves a serious focus on managing cultural differences. 